Hello. Welcome everyone. My name is the DJ Kepsi Richie and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. The night after night calls for peace, but day after day calls for knowledge. So today we are going to seek another knowledge in linear algebra and matrices for that matter. Last, we start in of, I introduce you to matrices. Uh, we learn the order of a matrix, we learn the types of matrix we have, and we learn how to, I mean, add and subtract matrices. Please, if you have not watched that video, go to YouTube, search for Tetejin Kepsi Richie. Tetejin spelled T E T T E D Z I E. Then Kepsi K E P S Y. And search for that video and watch. However, today, before the video will end, I will take you to how to multiply matrix by a scalar. We'll look at the application of it. Then we'll also learn how to multiply two matrices. And if there is time, if there is time, we'll learn how to find the determinants of a matrix. So come with me. Okay, so as I told you, we'll learn how to multiply a matrix by a scalar. So remember, we learn a scalar quantity and a vector quantity. And we say vector quantity is any quantity that has both magnitude and direction. But a scalar quantity has only magnitude but no direction. So, if a matrix, let's say A, is a 2 by 2 matrix, A, B, C, D, and we are asked to find A, K, where K is a scalar, it means just let K multiply each and every element in a matrix A. That's A, B, C, D. So, what do we have? Or multiply. We have A, K. B, K, that's A times A, A, K, K times B, B, K, K times C, C, K, K times D, D, K. So that will be our A, K. K will multiply each and every element. Now, let's now when it is 3 by 3, maybe matrix B is a 3 by 3 matrix A, B, C, D, E, F. G H I. So, and we are asked to find B K. B K. Where K is the scalar? K will multiply each and every element in B. In B. So A B C D E F G H I. So what do we have? K will multiply that. So K times A A K. K times B, B, K, K times C, C, K, K times D, D, K, K times E, E, K, K times F, F, K, K times D, G, G, K, K times H, H, K, then K times I, I, K. That's it. K will multiply each and every element. Now we'll take a sample question and see how who we'll apply this uh, in multiplying a scalar by a matrix. So come with me. Okay, so we are learning how to apply that in solving questions. So as if a matrix A is this, find the A. So remember 3A. A is a scalar. So 3 times a matrix A. 4 make 3, 2, 5. So 3 will multiply each and every element, 2 times, 3 times 4 is 4, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, 3 times 2 is 6, then 3 times 5 is 15. So this becomes our 3a, our 3a. There is another one here, which is a 3 by 3. So if matrix B is this, we should find negative 2b. You can pause you can pause the video and try to see if you can solve it. Now compare answers with mine. Negative 2b, remember negative 2 is the scalar. So negative 2 times 1 make 3, 4, 2 make 4, 3, 
then 4 to make 5. So what do we have? Negative 2 times 1 will be negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 3, that will be 6. Negative 2 times 4, that will be negative 8. Negative 2 times 2, that will be negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 4, that will be 8. Negative 2 times 3, that will be negative 6. Negative 2 times 4, here, yeah, that will be negative 8. Negative 2 times 2, negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 5. That will be 10. I hope you are, you are correct. And I believe you will get it correct. So this is our negative 2b. Now we'll see where we'll combine this with addition and uh, subtraction of matrices. So come with me. Okay, so there is a sample question on the board. They say if t is this, 2, 5, 4, 6, and q is negative 3, negative 7, 1, 4, find 3q, uh, 3p minus 2q. You can pause the video and try it. Now, you can solve this directly, but for the sake of some of us, we'll solve it separately and bring them together. So find, first, let's find 3p. So remember, 3 is a scalar times a p. So that will be 2, 5, 4, 6. Or multiply this, what do we have? 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12, then 3 times 6 is 18. That's our 3p. Now let's find our 2q. 2q. So that will be 2 times the q. What's q? Negative 3, negative 7, 1, 4. So what do we have? 2 times negative 3, that will be negative 6. 2 times negative 7, negative 14. 2 times 1, is 2, then 2 times 4 is 8. Now we combine by finding by finding our 3p minus 2q. So what's our 3p? 3p is this, 3p is this, that's 6, 15, 12, 18, Minus 2q. What's our 2q? Our 2q is this. That's negative 6, negative 14, then 2, 8. Now let's perform the operation on it. So we have 6 minus negative 6. Then 15 minus negative 14. Then 12 minus 2 as well as 18 minus 8. So we solve that. 6 minus negative 6, that will be 12. That will be 6 plus 6. Then 15 minus negative 14, that will be 15 plus 14, so it's 29. 12 minus 2 is 10. Then 18 minus 8 is also 10. Then this becomes our 3p minus 2. I hope you get this. It's not anything difficult. Now, the next thing is we will we'll try to solve an example on 3 by 3. So come with me. So there is another question here on 3 by 3. So if A, if matrix A is this and matrix B is that, find entity to A plus 3B. You can pause the video. You can pause it and see if you get the answer correct. And I believe you will get it correct. So now we'll do it separately and bring them together again. So first we find negative 2a. So remember negative 2 is the scalar. So times the matrix A, which is 3, make 1, 4, 5, 2, make 1, 3, 4, make 5. What do we get? Negative 2 times 3, that will be negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 1, that will be 2. Negative 2 times 4, that will be negative 8. Negative 2 times 5, that will be negative 10. Negative 2 times 2, that will be negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 1, that will be 2. Negative 2 times 3, that will be negative 6. Negative 2 times 4, that will be negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 5, that will be 10. So that will be our negative 2 8. Now we'll find 3D. We'll find 3D. Remember, 3 is the scalar here. 
सो थ्री टाइम्स एस के लाभ भी पास आर भी इस आर भी सो आप टू मेक वन थ्रे फोर फाइव टू एंड नेगेटिव थ्रे टू फाइव सो मल्टीप्लाई डेट थ्री यू मल्टीप्लाई इच एंड एवरी एलिमेंट थ्री टाइम्स टू इस सिक्स थ्री टाइम्स नेगेटिव फोर आंदा वो नेगेटिव थ्रे थ्री टाइम्स थ्रे इस नाइन थ्री टाइम्स फोर इस ट्वेल्व थ्री टाइम्स फाइव इस फिफ्टीन थ्री टाइम्स टू इस सिक्स थ्री टाइम्स नेगेटिव थ्रे दाउ बी नेगेटिव नाइन एंड थ्री टाइम्स टू दाउ बी सिक्स थ्री टाइम्स इस फाइव वो बी फिफ्टीन नाउ वी ब्रिंग देम टुगेदर सो फाइन नेगेटिव टू ए प्लस आर थ्री बी पास नेगेटिव टू ए दिस आर नेगेटिव टू ए सो वी जस्ट कॉपी दैट नेगेटिव सिक्स टू नेगेटिव एट नेगेटिव टेन नेगेटिव फोर टू देन वी हैव नेगेटिव सिक्स नेगेटिव एट देन टेन प्लस आवर थ्री बी पास आवर थ्री बी वो मानी जी थी थ्री बी दैट वी सी नेक थ्री नाइन ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन सिक्स देन नेगेटिव नाइन सिक्स फिफ्टीन so that's it. You get that. Now add them. Remember the addition and subtraction of matrices. The first addition, the first we have negative six plus six, two plus negative three, negative eight plus nine. Then we have negative ten, negative ten plus twelve, negative four. Plus fifteen. We have two pluses. The last column. Negative six plus negative nine. Negative six plus negative nine. Negative eight plus six. Then ten plus what? Fifty. So we find the solution to that. Negative six plus six is zero. It's the same as six minus six. Two plus negative three. That will be two minus three, which is negative one. Negative eight plus nine. That will be nine minus eight, which is the same as one. Negative ten plus two will be two. Negative four plus fifteen. I think that will be eleven. Two plus six is eight. Negative six plus negative nine. That will be negative fifteen. Negative eight plus six. Six minus eight. That will be negative two. Then ten plus fifteen is twenty-five. So this becomes our negative two a plus three. I hope you get that. I hope you get that. The next thing we we'll do is the multiplication of two matrices. Okay. So the next step, as I told you, we are going to learn how to multiply two matrices. We we'll start things with the two by two. So if matrix A is this and matrix B is this, they will ask us to find A B. A B. So A B will be A B the matrix A times the matrix B E L G H. Please, please, this is not the same as addition and uh, subtraction where first against the no, 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 it doesn't work like that. When we are multiplying matrices, the column. We multiply the row. The column we multiply the row. The column we multiply the row. Then the column we multiply the row like that. So this multiply this plus this multiply this. This multiply this plus this multiply this. Then this multiply this plus this multiply this. Then this multiply this plus this multiply that. That's how we are going to do. So what do we have? We have a times e plus B times G, then A times F plus B times H. Then we have C times E plus D times G. Then C times F plus D times H. That's how we go. That's how we go. Now we we'll take a sample question and see how we we'll solve this. 
Okay, so we learn how to multiply two matrices. Remember, I told you it is not this multiply this. No, no, not like that. First and this, first and no, no, this. It doesn't work like the addition. So let's start this. A, B. That's our A, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then B, negative 2, negative 3, 2, Remember, I told you, we'll go like this, we'll go like that. So let's go. This will be equal to, so 2 times negative 2 plus 3 times 2. 2 times this negative 2 plus 3 times 2. Then, this 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times 5. That's for the first one. Then we come here, the next column. 4 times negative 2 plus 5 times 2. 4 times this negative 2, then 5 times 2. Then 4 times negative 3, then 5 times 5. 4 times negative 3, then 5 times 5. Then we multiply very well. So we multiply very well. So what we have, look at it. Look at it. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Then 3 times 2, 2 plus 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Then 3 times 5 is 15. Then 4 times negative 2, that will be negative 8. Plus 5 times 2, 5 times 2 is 10. Then 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Then 5 times 5 is 25. So what we have? Negative 4 plus 6 with 2. Negative 6 plus 15. I think that will be 9. Yes, that will be 15 minus 6. Negative 8 plus 10 with 2. Then negative 12 plus 25. That will be 25 minus 12. So that will be 13. So this becomes our A, B. Okay, so then 5 times 4, that will be 20. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 5 times 5. That will change five. Now we'll polish it. We we'll polish it very well. So 84 minus negative 12. I think that will be negative 16. Negative 6 minus 15. That will be negative 21. 4 times 20 is 24. Then 6 plus 25 is 31. So this becomes our B A. Let's check things out. See our B A. C A B. They are not the same. So we say that our uh, A, B is not equal to B, A. So the multiplication of two matrices is never commutative. I hope you get that. Play over the video and I know that you understand this. Okay, so there is one more question on 3 by 3. So let's see how we solve it. So 3 by 3. We say this matrix if it's P is this and if it's Q is that, we should find PQ. So PQ, this 3 by 3, is the same as the 2 by 2 by, except that this one will be a little bit lengthy. So negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, 5, 2, 3, for P. Then Q, uh, then negative 1, 3, 4, for P. Then Q will be... 2, 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, negative 2, 3, 4. What do we do again? Remember, the column against that. This against this. This against that. Then we come, we come and take the second column against all the rows again. So now come with me. Let's see. So what do we have? What do we have? So negative 2 times 2. Negative 2 times 
times 2 plus negative 3 negative 3 times 1 plus negative 4 times negative 2 very very important very very important so that's for the first one please let me clean this so that we can have enough space let me clean that so that we can have enough space for our work so so let me start again we have negative 2 times 2 so our negative 2 times 2 plus negative 3 times 1 plus negative 3 times 1 then plus negative 4 times negative 2 so plus negative 4 times negative 2 that's for the first entry then this will go in negative 2 now negative 2 negative 2 times 3 negative 2 times 3 plus negative 3 so negative 2 times 3 negative 3 times 4 negative 3 times 4 then plus negative 4 times 3 plus negative 4 times 3 then the last the last entry this against this again negative 2 times 2 plus negative 3 times 5 plus negative 3 times 5 then negative 4 times 4 then negative 4 times 4 please i hope you get that i don't want this to go to another page so that the understanding will not be there so we go we take the second column this against that again so we have 5 times 5 times 2 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times negative 2 the same again 5 times 3 5 times this 3 plus 2 times 4 then 3 then so 5 times 3 plus 2 times 4 then 3 times 3 2 plus 3 times 3 the last one for that column 5 times 2 so 5 against 2 5 against 2 okay so 5 that was the last one 5 times 5 times this 2 2 times 5 plus 2 times 5 then 3 times 4 so plus 3 times 4 and the last one so now we come to negative 1 times 2 negative 1 times 2 plus 3 times 1 then plus 4 times negative 2 for that one then the middle the middle we have negative 1 negative 1 times 3 plus 3 3 times 4 3 times 4 negative 1 times 3 plus 3 times 4 then 4 negative 1 times 3 3 times 4 then 4 times 3 plus 4 times 3 then the last one here the last one here the last one negative 1 negative 1 times 2 plus 3 times 5 plus 3 times 5 then 4 times 4 then plus 4 times 4 I hope you get that. Let me clean it so that you get it for 4 times 4. Our board, I don't want this to go to another place so that you may not understand. So now let's polish that. Let's multiply. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 3 times 1 will be negative 3. Negative 4 times negative 2, that will be 8. Negative 2 times 3, that will be negative 6. Negative 3 times 4, that will be minus 12. Then minus 4 times 4, that will be minus 12 as well. 
then two times negative two times two that will be negative four three times five that will be minus fifteen then minus four times four that will be minus sixteen this one this is ten plus two minus six then fifteen plus eight plus nine then ten plus ten plus twelve then minus two plus three minus eight then we have minus three plus twelve plus twelve then minus two plus plus fifteen then plus sixteen so we polish that we just solve it to find the answer negative four minus three that will be negative seven plus eight will be one negative six negative 12 minus negative 12 that would be negative 24 negative 24 negative 24 minus 6 that would be negative 30 i hope i'm correct i hope i'm correct so negative 4 negative 15 minus negative 15 that would be negative negative 31 minus 4 that would be negative 35 10 plus 2 is 12 minus 6 is 6 15 plus 8 15 plus 8 that will be 23 23 plus 9 that will be 32 so 32 here then we go that will be 32 now this 10 plus 10 20 plus 12 that will be 32 as well 10 plus 10 20 plus 12 that will be 32 negative 2 plus 3 that will be 1 1 minus 8 Will be 1 minus 8 will be negative 7. Then negative 3, 12 plus, 2, uh, plus 12 is 24. 24 minus 3, that will be 21. Then negative 2, uh, 15 plus 16, that's 31. 31 minus 2, I think that will be 29. I hope you get that. Please practice this more, and I know you get it. In our next video, we will learn how to find the determinant of a matrix. Until then, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it.